So we're at Castle and Key Distillery for a private tour. They've not yet opened. It'll be open in September, and it's pretty awesome to see the grounds like we have already. When you start the tour, you go by the creek, they start to talk about limestone and the, the way that old Taylor used to use and utilize limestone and the way that the bourbon was made. And that's what makes bourbon in Kentucky so special is the limestones in the water. It's pretty amazing just to learn little facts that I never knew were part of what made bourbon so special. But getting to see all the different spots, the different places that old Taylor had his bourbon and when you go through this property, you start to see all the old buildings, all the cool architecture that you just never knew was part of what makes bourbon so special and how they just store it in buildings that you're just like, wow, that's 200 yards long. That's two football fields. Like, no way. And for them to put that amount of bourbon into one spot to age it, it just kind of blows your mind. And especially to think of how they used to do it back in the old days. I mean, I can't imagine. It just makes you know, building and production so much more special and just makes you kind of think more about it. It was a good day at Castle and Key. Pretty amazing to see, you know, things they have going on within the bourbon distillery. Uh, pretty amazing to think that you can run different kinds of alcohol through there, like gin and vodka. They're doing gins and vodka for Castle and Key, having their bourbons, you know, being for the first time putting them into the barrels and everything in 2016 and getting to see all the different barrels in the building that was 200 yards long. Like, that blows my mind. 200 yards of all bourbon, four floors. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So, pretty cool getting to experience it firsthand. And for it being my first distillery I've been to, I would say it was a success.